Ever wondered what an EPC assessment is? Well, let's dive in and unravel this question. An EPC, which stands for Energy Performance Certificate, is a publicly available document that gives a clear picture of a building's energy efficiency. It's like a report card with a rating that ranges from 1 to over 100 and energy bands from A to G. For example, 1, 20 is energy band G, 21, 38 is energy band F and so forth. The higher the rating, the more energy efficient the building is. But who can provide an EPC? Only a qualified and accredited domestic energy assessor using the latest approved RDSAP software can do so. This software calculates the energy efficiency of your building and assigns it a rating. Now you might ask, why is this important to me? Today, every dwelling must undergo an RDSAP assessment to generate an EPC when either sold or let on the housing market if one hasn't been conducted already within the last 10 years. So, whether you're a homeowner or a renter, an EPC assessment should be on your radar. So, what exactly happens during an EPC assessment? Imagine welcoming an accredited domestic energy assessor into your home, their toolbox, a keen eye, a camera, and the latest approved RDSAP software. Their mission? To evaluate the energy efficiency of your dwelling and arm you with the knowledge to make it even better. The first step of this energy efficiency expedition is the creation of a floor plan. The assessor will take precise measurements of your property to determine the floor area and heat loss parameters. The assessor will examine various aspects of your dwelling. They'll look at the floor build-up, the thickness of your walls, and even search for evidence of drill holes that may indicate retrofitted cavity insulation. They'll inspect your roof insulation the type of glazing you have, your heating and hot water system, and the types of heating controls you use. Even the number of low energy light fittings will come under scrutiny. And why the camera, you ask? Well, every piece of data, every detail must be backed up by date stamped photographic evidence. So don't be surprised if you find your energy assessor playing paparazzi around your dwelling. What happens after an EPC assessment, you might wonder? Well, once your home has been thoroughly inspected and assessed, all the collected data is carefully entered into the latest RDSAP software. This powerful tool then generates an energy rating for your property, along with a series of recommendations to improve this rating, prioritized by cost effectiveness. For instance, it might suggest additional loft insulation before recommending new windows, based on the balance between effectiveness and cost. If a homeowner decides to implement any of these changes or other improvements not necessarily listed, a new EPC would be required to reflect these changes on the energy rating. Once lodged by the assessor, the Energy Performance Certificate, or EPC, then becomes live and readily available for viewing. But where can you find this certificate? It's quite simple. All EPCs are hosted on the government's live website. Here, you can easily search for both residential and commercial EPCs. All you need is the postal code. This approach not only makes it easy to find EPCs, but also helps prevent fraudulent use of reports. And that's it. That's how an EPC assessment is conducted. Let's quickly recap what we've learned about EPC assessments. An EPC, or Energy Performance Certificate, is a document that rates a building's energy efficiency on a scale from 1 to over 100, with energy bands from A to G. The higher the rating, the more energy efficient the building. EPCs are issued by qualified and accredited domestic energy assessors using the latest RDSAP software. These assessments are necessary when selling or letting property, and the certificate remains valid for 10 years. The assessor takes into account numerous factors, including the property's floor buildup, wall thickness, insulation, glazing type, heating system, and more. The data is then entered into the RDSAP software, which produces an energy rating and recommendations for cost-effective improvements. Finally, the EPC is lodged and made available for viewing on the government's website, searchable by postal code. That covers RDSAP Energy Performance Certificates, and thank you for listening.